This car is powered by Toyota Alphard V6 engine 3.0 cc. Problem with car cold start engine when the fuel accelerator pedal is pressed. Engine RPM don't get above 2000 and the hissing sound of the front bonnet engine can be heard. After starting the engine and running it for some time, there is no problem if the engine warms up. I will start the engine of the car, I will show what is wrong with the engine of the car. After starting the vehicle, check that the engine light does not come on. After starting the engine, when the fuel accelerator pedal is pushed down, the engine does not go above 2000 revolutions per minute and the engine makes a hissing noise, no check engine light and no engine code, how to solve this problem. So watch the whole video, you will like the video inshallah. Please subscribe the channel SES Automotive click the bell button to see the next new video, share the video and let your friends watch the video. The engine coolant temp is now not hot I switched off the ignition key. Common five. Common 5 Reason petrol engine loss power number 1 Check petrol fuel pressure number 2 Clogged and dirty air filter number 3 Oxygen sensor malfunction number 4 Check mass air flow sensor, MAF, number 5 Test engine compression. No engine power no check engine light on number 1 check fuel pump pressure. The fuel pressure meter reads after starting the vehicle engine 0.35 MPA to 0.4 MPA fuel pump pressure is completely correct no problem. And if the fuel pressure is less than 0.3 MPA then replace the full pump. Step number 2, clogged or dirty air filter. A clogged air filter can also cause problems because it allows air into the system to balance, any blockage or malfunction in the filter will affect your engine RPM. This can cause the engine RPM to go too high or too low. So, check if the air filter is clogged or damaged. Either way, a replacement is recommended. If you want to clean the air filter, you can use this air filter cleaner, but remember to open and change the air filter if it is dirty. Your car's engine power will increase and your car's engine will be good. Step number number 3 Oxygen Sensor Malfunction Oxygen Sensor An oxygen sensor is device whose function is to monitor the exhaust emissions of the vehicle so that it can analyze the air-fuel ratio going through the engine of that vehicle. To make a long story short, a car needs a proper amount of fuel in order for the fuel to burn properly in the combustion cylinders so that it may run smoothly and may accelerate as required. This sensor sends the information about the amount of fuel being used to the computer unit of the engine and if this sensor get damaged, then the engine of that vehicle will have no idea what ratio of air-fuel mixture to use which may result in a fuel-rich mixture. This can cause the slow acceleration of the vehicle even with the accelerator pedal completely pressed making it unreliable when it's needed. How to check, number 1 open the socket of the oxygen sensor wire and separate it disconnect the oxygen sensor from the exhaust pipe, start the engine and press the fuel accelerator pedal, if the engine RPM rises above 3000, then you will understand that the sensor has a problem, so change the sensor. Number 2 you can check in another way. By opening the sensor and installing a new sensor, you can check by starting the engine. How to test MAF sensor with multimeter Watch this video the video link is given in the description box you can click on the link, check the MAF sensor very easily, so watch the full video. Remember that if you manual check the sensor like this, the check engine code and check engine light will turn on, the engine code must be reset using the scan computer to manually check the mass airflow sensor at number 2, unplug the cable socket, remove the wire cable socket like this and then start the car engine. Now after starting the car engine, check engine light off, press fuel accelerator down and engine RPM up 2000, no problem, then you will understand the mass air flow sensor does not work properly so the engine may have such a problem. You will know if the engine RPM does not rise above 2000 by opening the MEF sensor where cable socket and starting MEF air flow sensor is ok. Now the check engine light is on so I scan the computer to see what engine codes are coming up now, 
After removing the MAF airflow sensor wire from the socket and starting the engine two codes appear. Number 1 P0100 MAF airflow sensor circuit malfunction and number 2 is P0110. Air intake temperature sensor circuit malfunction. We'll now replace the mass airflow sensor and see if that fixed the problem. Change to mass airflow sensor and install another same second hand sensor. Properly tighten the two mass airflow sensor air leakage prevention screws. Fit the mass airflow sensor cable correctly into the socket. If the mass airflow sensor is changed, then clear the engine code with the scan computer. Clear the engine fault code by turning the ignition key to the on position. Click for the clear fault code. The command of clearing fault code was sent successfully, please read fault code again, then press OK. OK done clear fault code, no fault code. Now I will start the car engine then check again. After changing mass airflow sensor now engine RPM goes above 3000 no problem, engine temp is cool now. Step number 5 How to test engine compression Number 1 Remove the fuel pump wire socket Number 2 Remove the ignition coil and wire socket Number 3 Remove the engine plug one by one Test compression then install the compression tester. A compression test reveals the condition of your engine's valves, its valve seats and piston rings and whether these parts are wearing evenly. Healthy engine should have compression over 100 pounds per square inch per cylinder, with no more than 10% variation between the highest and lowest readings. What is normal psi for compression test? Between 125 and 175 psi most gas engines compression should be between 125 and 175 psi while it Remember to write down each of your findings. If one or more cylinders looks to be way off in PSI, you can rerun the test again just to check. Now I will test engine compression number 1 is 125 PSI is engine compression. Now I will test number 2 engine compression is very low have is a problem. Now I check number 3. Engine is very low compression. If there is such a compression problem, open the engine and repair it. How to solve the problem? If you discover that you have low compression, the only solution is to replace the leaking part, whether it's the piston, piston ring, camshaft, head gasket, or valve. Check and repair it. Other causes of no power when accelerating. Bad turbocharger. Bad EGR valve. Exhaust pipe, gas and diesel engine. Camshaft position sensor malfunction, gas and diesel engine. Bad fuel injectors, gas and diesel common rail engine. Bad spark plugs, gas engine. Bad ignition coil, gas engine. Tell me pretty lies, look me in the face. Tell me that you love me, even if it's fake.